Yo, welcome boys and girls, it is Raver out here and today I'm going to be talking about Rihanna's brand new album, Anti, and I am going to be giving my opinion on it. Now, before Sunday, I really did think that Rihanna was one of the most overrated artists that we have at the moment. That was until I listened to her brand new single, Work, featuring Drake, and oh my god, like, it was one of the most catchiest, one of the most awesome, and one of the most musically interesting songs that I've heard this year so far. And I just thought it was so intriguing. And that was when I realised that I just had to buy the album, boys and girls. And was I disappointed? The simple answer is no. Let me tell you, boys and girls, why right now. Now, I'm not going to tell you about the whole album song by song because I don't really want to give too much away for the people that haven't listened to it entirely yet. After all, it has only been a week since its release. But I will be generalising the album by genres and lyrical content etc and maybe even a few song references here and there to give you boys and girls a feel as to what I believe that you can expect from this album. Bearing it in mind that I have never listened to any Rihanna album in full before because I don't like most of her mainstream singles. I'm not gonna lie, I was quite sceptical about listening to and buying Anti. But don't get me wrong, there are a few songs of hers that I do like such as Ponder Replay, California King Bed, 4 or 5 Seconds etc. But songs such as s and We Found Love and Bitch Better Have My Money are complete time wasters in my opinion. So for me, the likelihood of enjoying Anti would have been very hit and miss, but I'm not gonna lie, the first single, Work, did seem promising. Now let's take a look into the album itself, boys and girls. First, let's talk about instrumentation, boys and girls. Now, there are lots of instruments in the whole album, but the most commonly used one by far is synthesizers, whether that be drums, bass, keyboard, guitar, organ, whatever it is. However, some songs in Anti were quite clean and smooth and acoustic and they were written using real instruments such as real guitars and real pianos etc. There's so much variety on this album and the instruments are always always played in ways that complement the lyrics and mood of the songs themselves. For example, the lyrics to Kiss It Better would never have worked if the beat was swapped around with the beat to Goodnight Gotham and in that respect Rihanna got it bang on there boys and girls. Speaking of lyrics, let's take a quick look into the way that they impact the album. Even though I just said that there is so much variety in the songs of this album, the most common lyrical theme throughout the whole disc is love and relationships, but the variety comes from the way they are presented, whether love is being presented as beautiful, or destructive, dangerous, or addictive, or in other ways maybe. In terms of love songs, the biggest difference in the whole album is the sexual turn on song Sex With Me, compared it to the really aggressive and spiteful song Woo. But not all songs in this album are entirely based on love. You have got some songs about alcohol and drugs, which you would hear in the song James Joint. You've got songs about being true to yourself, which is heard in songs such as Consideration. But at the end of the day, every song in this entire album has reason and meaning. Some of it may be more personal to Rihanna than others, but the overall sound of it gives off a highly emotional record, boys and girls, it really is. Now, just like the variety in lyrics, this is the exact same with genre. Now, the only way that I can really describe the genre of this album is by going to a restaurant and looking down the anti section of the menu and on that section of the menu you would have worldwide cuisines from European to Asian to Caribbean you would have all different kinds of meats you would have vegetarian dishes you would have vegan dishes you would have fish dishes and often those dishes would combine to make brand new cuisines and brand new foods putting this back into context Although this album drives away from Rihanna's traditional EDM and dance sound, Anti is so damn diverse in terms of genre. I mean seriously, it touches on elements of R&B, soul, dancehall, pop, reggae, trap, hip-hop, jazz, country, rock, and just so much more. I just could not categorise it by one specific genre. 
because there are so many involved in this album and it's such a unique collection of sounds that I genuinely think could go on to shape the future of music, I really do. Now moving on to the production side of the album. The effects used in this album are just second to none, they really are. Although some songs do contain audio of real life instruments, there is a lot more MIDI software based instruments, which in modern music is much better for things like creating new sound, and it promotes individuality a lot better than just having audio of real life instruments and sounds. It makes music sound more true to you as a person, but the varying use of effects in instruments and in vocals is partly what makes the album so interesting. Because not only do they change in accordance to the tone of the song, but they also change within certain songs, and I really do think that is such a clever way of entertaining the listeners. Looking at inspiration next, boys and girls, you can obviously tell that Rihanna is deeply inspired by not only fellow musicians such as Whitney Houston, Bob Marley, Amy Winehouse, etc., but also by her previous experiences as well. I do have a feeling that the song Love on the Brain is based on the psychological effects of a destructive relationship, which may hint towards Chris Brown's assault on her in 2009. And I do genuinely think that other real life experiences of hers do also contribute a lot towards the songs that we hear on Anti. The album artwork could also prove this further, as the crown around her eyes tells me that before she was too blind to see what she was doing, hence the braille. And also, to a non-blind person, the album artwork looks quite blurry and looks quite difficult to see, which also says to me that she could be blurring the lines between the person that she was and the person that she is becoming now. Which could also be the reason why the songs in this album are so different compared to all her previous songs and all her previous singles on previous albums of hers. For my final point and my only criticism of the entire album, I'm going to round it off by talking about the very strange track list in order. On one hand, I love how no two songs are the exact same throughout the whole album. But on the other hand, they're all in a mashed up order. To any normal person, this wouldn't make a difference to them. But for me, it really does. I'm quite OCD about this sort of thing. Instead of having happier songs gradually getting sadder as the album goes on, which to me would make more sense. Instead of which, the songs are inconsistent and they change so quickly and so unexpectedly as well. But that was my entire review of Rihanna's brand new album, Anti, and just like my Spectre review video, I'm going to be giving this album a rate out of 10. Now, taking everything into account, and considering the fact that I didn't even like Rihanna particularly prior to Sunday, and the fact that I loved this album, I am going to give Anti a strong 9 out of 10. And if I could summarise the whole album in just one word, that one word would be smorgasbord. So that was this week's video, boys and girls. If you would like to see more of my videos and playlists, click my face and my t-shirt now. And if you like the sound of Anti through listening to my review, the link to buy it is in the description below. All my social media links are on the screen now and also in the description down below. And if you do buy Anti, I would love to hear what you think on it via comments and video responses, boys and girls, I really would. And as usual, if you did like this video, then give it a like, a comment, a rate, a subscribe, a share, all that awesome stuff. And I'm going to see you guys next week for a brand new video. And guys, my name is Raver, and I'm going to see you later, guys. Peace out and stay awesome.